School is about to start, so let's create a reusable pencil. We start by adding five blocks of material. We can select a bottom surface and sharpen it. Then split the face and pull it with the blue arrow. Now we have the point of the pencil. Pressing down on the scroll button, we can move the view of the pencil and make it easier to work on the top. We can sharpen and split the face on the top too. We want to use real lead in our pencil, so we'll make a hole. We do this by selecting the opposite ends of the pencil while pressing the control key. Then we use the bridge commands. The hole is done. How did we do that? When you select material and use the bridge command, the material will be removed. If you use it when there is no material, the bridge command adds material between the selected surfaces. We need to do some adjustments before we can style. Delete the loops you don't need and double-click to adjust using the arrows. We want to corner the edges on top, so we select the surface and use the smooth commands. Now we are ready to style it. Click the mesh icon to see the sketch. We'll select the paint bucket icon on the bottom. Now the paint menu has popped up on the side. We have two choices. If we click the bucket icon, we'll paint the entire object. With the paintbrush selected, we only paint certain parts of the sketch, like this. We can hold down on the left mouse button while dragging the cursor above the surface we want to paint. If you want to hide the paint menu while you work, click the hide button attached to the left side of the menu. We can bring the menu back by clicking that button again. Pressing down on our mouse scroll wheel and dragging the mouse around, we can rotate the pencil and make sure it's completely painted. Now we have reusable pencil, just in time for school to start.